as you can see here, I've got a small minor budget sheet set up. As I said, we can set up our constants by clicking on the name of the cell and give it a name. So there I can call that one my budget. Uh, this one here shouldn't be pounds. I can change that one so it's not pounds. It's a number. Got some talking going on. Have your attention still, please. This won't last very long, and then you better get back onto it with this information. Right, so say I've invited 50 people to the uh, venue. I would like to make sure that I know that's the invites. Invited. So, here, the food, delivery is a one-off cost. Thank you. Delivery is a one-off cost of £30, and then you have to pay £5 for every person a meal is going to be provided for. So in order to find that out, I need to put in a formula here. So I've got my £30... Got my £30 delivery there, £5 there, and my formula's going to go in here. What does the formula start with? Equal sign. So equals... Uh, not some at the moment, I want to make sure that I put in my delivery costs. I need to then add that and I put in a bracket <coughs> system there so I can work out the cost per head. Now, the cost per head is going to be uh, invited, invited times and times we use the star and the five pounds like so there's talking going on can you be patient in a minute right if I click on the formula there you can actually see the boxes that have been used they highlight the boxes in which order it's going to go through so now I have there a formula that tells me how much it is to have 50 guests go to the venue and have a meal. I can now put in my equals put in my equals there for the next formula and actually point out that I want to use that value there in my costs. And now I can auto sum this part up. So now it's costing me, out of my budget, 1,600. If I want to find out what's left, I can put in my left part there, put in my formula, my budget, minus my total there. And you can see there I've got 3,400 pounds left. This allows me then to actually just mess around with the actual sheet. So instead of inviting 50, if I decide to invite 100, I can change that number there to 100, and it automatically change the rest of the formulas inside We, uh, it'll automatically change all the values within the sheet. That means I won't need to go through and change each one individually. If I click on this one here, I click on the budget, you can see there, it's just a simple formula there of taking away my budget away from the cost of the totals. If I decided to invite loads of people, 10,000 people to the venue, that would actually make sure that my values would be too big to fit in there, so I'll have to drag my columns along to actually fit it in properly. But as you see now, I've got a minus figure down here. I've gone well over my budget. I can, to highlight that, put in a 
Oh, there we go. I can put in the conditional formatting onto it so that I can actually say that if this value is greater if it is greater than, than zero I can make that column a custom format of green fill like so. I can then also put in a conditional format that if it was less than zero, it will give me a custom format of a red field. Like so. Okay? So as that is greatly over the top of uh, my budget, it's actually shown up in red. If I bring that back down to 100 people, you see it goes down to green, saying it's inside my budget. There we're actually highlighting, using the value of the cell, uh, whether or not we're actually keeping to our budgets and things. Yeah? Because that's one of the most important parts of our budget, whether we've got enough money to pay for it. Okay? I'll leave that there. And let you carry on. You, the video should be uploaded soon, so you'll be able to use that.